In this video, I'm going to be telling you whether the Nova Blast 5 is actually a sensible discounted alternative to the Super Blast 2. Hello everybody and welcome to 40 Runs. My name is Chris Ford. I'm a running coach who loves to make YouTube videos about running shoes and other running content like I said here on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so because we're trying to get to 22 million subscribers. Now we are close, but I need you all to subscribe because it is a goal for 2025. And today we're gonna to be answering a question that I get asked a lot on the live stream. Now, if you weren't aware, we do a live stream every Monday at eight o'clock UK time. And I sit down, I answer all your questions. Now they tend to be about running shoes, coaching questions, and football teams. And one of those common questions is, Forty, is the Nova Blast a better, cheaper alternative to the Super Blast 2, which we can't buy because nobody has any stock? So stand by, because I'm going to answer that question. Now, firstly, if you didn't know, this is the Nova Blast 5, and this shoe is £135. We've got the new Flight Phone Blast Max in it. It's over 40 mil stack in the heel. We've got a very, very much improved outsole on the shoe. Weighs about nine and a half ounces, 270 odd grams. Fits true to size, and I think it looks pretty awesome in this plum colorway. And then we've got one of the greatest running shoes ever made, the Super Blast 2. 200 pounds, Flight Foam Turbo Plus, an amazing upper, weighs 260 something grams I think, fits true to size, and it's just awesome. But the biggest problem with this shoe is that ASICs don't tend to stock it. Oh, and it's 200 pounds. So it is a very good question. Is the Nova Blast a better alternative? Because you can readily get that. So let's dive into that. Now, firstly, let's talk midsoles. Now, this is their premium foam in here, okay? This doesn't have a carbon plate, but this is the same foam-ish that's in this. Now, that was ASIC's Meta Speed Sky Paris, which is their top line racing shoe. And we've got some of that in here. And what that means is that this shoe is awesome. The feeling that you get from this shoe is incredible. But because you don't have the plate in it and the rigidity in it, you can just cruise about in it, but then you can drop the pace and this thing comes alive. So you're getting the best of both worlds here. You're getting a super foam, but you're getting a super trainer. Got it? Now with the Nova Blast 5, you're getting the Flight Foam Blast Max, which is a softer, well, mushier feeling foam compared to what's in the Super Blast. And that's not a bad thing. You're getting extreme comfort and extreme versatility. And it comes in a package that works extremely well across all your running. You can do everything in this, which is what you want from a daily trainer. Versatility, people. And at 135 pounds, it is exceptional. But is it really a good alternative to the Super Blast 2? I don't think you can replace the Super Blast 2. The only shoe for me that's close to it is the New Balance SE Trainer version 3, and that's purely because that suits me and I got it for free and didn't have to pay 230 pounds. This is a very, very good shoe. And yes, you can do marathon training in it, half marathon training, you can do everything in it. You can racing it you can do literally everything in this shoe but the feeling and the sensation and the feedback from this super blast 2 is unmatched and that's the thing i don't think you can say the nova blast can take away from the super blast 2. now if you can't afford the 200 pounds yes it is definitely worth considering the nova blast 5 but you can't replicate what's here there's something very special about this shoe for anybody who's doing half marathon and marathon training the foam just works epically well and like i said you can go easy in it, you can drop down the pace. So for example, for me, you know, 8.50 easy pace down to seven minute miles, I can do that in the Super Blast 2. And yes, while I can do that in the Nova Blast 5, the responsiveness that I get from this will be nowhere near what I get from the Super Blast 2. So there we go, I think it's conclusive. Look, I don't think you can match what the Super Blast 2 offers. And I appreciate the frustration that is out there that the fact that this is not readily available, it drives everybody nuts. And the Nova Blast 5 is a phenomenal shoe, but actually I think they complement each other. I think you do all your daily miles in this and you bring this out for marathon or half marathon training. So those dedicated long runs. And you can take this into race day if you do want a carbon plate. And that's the thing. I think they actually complement each other very well. So that's actually my conclusion. I think you need both of them. So you're going to have to remortgage. Got it? Okay, people. So there we go. That's where I am with these two. I think they're both exceptional shoes. And ASICs have done a cracking job. They do need to pull their finger out of their bums and make sure there's more stock readily available of the Super Blast 2. But other than that, I don't think you can criticize them this year. They have made some phenomenal shoes and they look like they're going to carry that on in a 2025. Okay, people, let me know in the comments. Agree, disagree. Do you think I'm nuts? Maybe you do think that this is a perfect shoe rotation. Very interested to know in your opinions. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave me today. 22 million subscribers we've got to get to. And that's it, team. I'll see you later.